Legend of Total War here with part 103 of my uh, Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously we conquered Patavium, which did really go completely according to plan, just because st uh, strong general in there. Um, but overall, yes, we're doing well, I think. Oh, look at that. Uh, three tier bloody um, guy there. Alright, so I'm just trying to see what, what else we can do. This guy's not very healthy. It's kind of annoying how, how useless generals can be sometimes, but I guess I need to leave them in there a little while longer. Because um, if you leave them in the city, they'll they'll get healthier. I want to get these guys moving at the same time. Any chance that you don't need to stay here? Okay, that's good. If he doesn't need to stay here, maybe he can look after Benonia and I can move these guys somewhere else. So we've got Rayetta, and we've got Helvetis. There's a city there. It might be best to march them west. I mean, it's all going to be the same distance to capital penalties. But at the same time, looking at this, what if I was to, to, to merge sort of like two armies? Alright, first things first. Yes, Take your forces out of here. Now, you're able to look after Benonia. Okay, that's good. Okay, there's five spaces left. You join him. Four. Okay, let's see what we can do about this. Because a lot of these guys need to go back for retraining. Oh, jeez. That's cutting it close. Um, what else? My lord. Okay, hang on. We've got four here now. My lord! My lord! Move out! Moves depleted, sir! Orders! Alright, good. Merging army! Air of moves, sir! Prepare fortification! So what we need to do here, again, just... We need something in order to reduce the population in these settlements, in order to keep them under control. Orders! I guess you'll come and join them. Okay, you, even though you got smashed, I want you to come back over here. Because yes, we need to get these guys back to um, back to Antioch now. He'll have to stay there for a while anyway. Hopefully by the time they get back, um, he's ready to leave. Ready to sail. Ready to sail. Okay, there's my guys there. Yes, sir. All ashore. Might be a good idea if they actually rested in a settlement. Quarter of new plants, whatever. They don't seem to have a, uh, a stat for um, supplies. Eh, whatever. Keep them going. Still got to fort them up every time. Ready, ready to sail. Yes, sir. Ready to sail. Yes, sir. Ready. And these guys need to get back. Yes, sir. Leaving the army. All ashore, my lord. Okay, RP has issues. Why don't you get over there? Ships ready. Yes, Captain. Yes, Stratigos. Now, let's have a look at the settlement over here. There, this one here. We need to sort this out because we've got public order issues and we can't recruit anything. So, I think we need to get the army conscription center. But the thing is, that's going to take three turns because what that's going to do is allow us to, you know, keep the population down. Even though it's right on the edge there to get to the, the next level. I should have built that first. Yes, Stratigos. Unfortunately, that'll just take it too long to get there. Ships ready. Okay, at 
Poor. We don't. We don't need that many garrison though. Just, we need to save a bit of money. We've got too many garrisons in some of these, some of these fucking settlements. Look at this. Huge. It all costs money. This is ridiculous. Oh, that's that's probably our limit there. Anyway, we can always recruit more if we need them. Ideally, we just want one unit in there as garrison. Might be a good idea to go through some of these settlements. Let's try and drop it as much as possible. This is where all our money's going. Fucking Bactra. Bactra's still an issue, though. Although, the garrison bonus is not really that high anyway, so we should probably... Could be, probably could get rid of it all. Because the thing is, each each one of these units is 225, roughly. So it's pretty close. We lost our garrison bonus completely. But, um, it's still under control. And if we need to hire them back, it's fine. If, I mean, if we just spent a couple of turns with not having them, that'll... I'll probably just save myself a couple of thousand. What do I want to do with you? I don't know. I want you to kind of die somewhere. What's this? Why don't you go kill them? Holy shit, what you do. I kind of want to go around like building watchtowers, but I know watchtowers are very expensive. It would just make me feel a lot better knowing that all this area I can I can see through it, because you know there's a lot of roads and stuff, and you never know if like rebels are standing on them, you know, blocking trade like this loser over here. And he's standing on trade routes, costing me money. Also, I don't think I ever destroyed the buildings here. Yeah, see. So save us some money. Or make us some money, I mean, because I can't make use of it. The sooner we can leave here with this army, the better. Send them back home. And just let Arabia deal with its own shit. So this settlement here, let's just see if it is actually profitable now. I mean, we've had it for fucking ages. And it's the same culture as ours, so it doesn't matter. Um... 400 corruption, so pretty much a wipe out there for trade. 700 plus 200, so 900 is the overall income, I suppose. It's it's profitable, but only only just. Then again, as as we build it up more, it'll, it'll continue to become more profitable, I suppose. Not every settlement can be filthy rich. Sometimes corruption certainly doesn't help. Let's see, how much are we losing per turn to corruption? 60 fucking thousand. That's a lot of money. There's nothing we can do about it, because no matter which way we put the capital, it's going to cause more corruption one way or another. The, the capital is dead center in the empire. Although, out of curiosity, it's currently at Palmyra. If it were to go to Antioch, Predicted profits, oh, hang on, um, 55287. Five, five. Okay, that's an extra few thousand, but how has that fucked us in regard to public order? Okay. Sulek is, well, that was the same. Ptolemy Steron has now got a bit more of an issue. Well, one extra garrison here is not that big of a deal. Still financially better off. Anyway, it should be the capital there, I reckon. Alright, let's build some stuff. So, you know, a couple of extra thousand per turn over, you know, ten turns, it's a lot of money. Alright, what are we doing now? Um, so it's good to have backup public order. Then again, I really need more cash. Like, I'm just thinking towards this, but... You know, it does also increase a lot of corruption. We 
can jack up the taxes here a little bit more so it makes us more cash. It's good to see the settlements are growing. Corinth doesn't need those anymore, so that reduces our costs. That might actually be largely thanks to moving the capital a bit further west. Okay, the public order here is pretty good. How much money... Oh, shit, we make tons of money from that. Definitely go with that. I feel bad that we haven't actually been doing that in the first place. I guess we need to get the public order under control, primarily. But that's only eight turns, and then we can make... about an additional thousand per turn. That'll certainly come in handy. It's enough to... maintain two or three extra units. Okay, this can reduce its um, costs. Same with their brachia. So yeah, definitely moving the capital a bit further west has helped. Okay, at Capua. We're probably going to need that, so we should build it, because... I mean, the public order's fine, but it's going to keep growing. And we need it just in case. Let's see, um, just go with that, I suppose. Mithras. Now we can't get rid of it just yet, as much as I want to. Just because the public order is not quite ready for it. Tired and under, under the weather. Where are my spies? I had spies that were all around the place before. Where'd they all go? Oh, there's one. Okay, because I want to come around here. Yeah, I want to get to Massalia. This looks like a, a rich settlement that would be easy to take. So bring these around to come and like clear off any other losers in the area. Okay, is there anything else I need to do? Okay, I think there's some armies that need to be moving around over here. No, you can't move. I wonder how long these guys need to stay here for. What I really need to be building is this. Build a garrison, then we can move these guys forward. Go and take something else. Okay, we don't need that many garrison in Ankira. It might be a good idea just to go through some of the regions and disband unnecessary units, Sir. just to save some cash. Could end up saving me a lot of money. Yes, Ooh, that's close there. Sir. 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 Okay, so that there. Yeah, we're making a lot more money now by disbanding them. I gotta stop forgetting about these regions. Okay, public order here is a bit tenuous, but it'll be alright. Okay, I don't think you need to keep recruiting here, so stop that. He's not able to leave, but. Okay, hang on. We can build something. We don't want to build that. Um, get the temple going, Artagidas. Okay, I could have sworn there's something else I need to do. I mean, we've still got a lot of money left over, which is good. There's always something I forget to do. Oh, well, I guess it'll be made apparent. Moving on. Besiege that settlement. Mediolanum. I can't let them get away with that. I gotta, I gotta stop that.
Oh geez, they brought a lot of troops over here. Any chance that you guys can handle it? Are you still tired and under the weather? Oh, come on, get better already. Jeez, it takes you four months to get over a cold. Let that finish first, I need the money. I fucking attack during winter, the, the season where we can't move much. But we can still get to here. Alright, let's see. Everyone that's damaged needs to get on those boats. Just keep them with us. Because those guys can just be retrained at Capua. But everyone else needs to go somewhere else. They'll have to go to um, uh, the docks there or whatever. Okay, so need to send another guy over here. That's no big problem. The thing is, this is a detour. I'm trying to get these guys across to the west. Romans just, just keep recruiting so many goddamn troops. Best we just kill them, I think. Don't let them get away with coming here. Now, the Romans, they couldn't possibly have that many regions left. I mean, maybe 12, 13 regions. So, they probably still actually have quite a lot of recruitment capacity. We'll, we'll push our way west as best we can, and the more settlements we take, the this less they can recruit. And they're not full strength. God damn it, it just had to be a fucking forested area. Goddamn awful fighting in this shit. Should have tidied this up before I got here. There you go, it's better. Alright, I reckon what we're gonna have to do is just get these pikes to move forward, because I'm not gonna be asking shit. They're, I can't even see, there they are. I can't even see where they are. Half the time. Alright, so... Um, I don't know if I can keep them out there. There's no way I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. Jesus Christ. I absolutely despise fighting in trees like this, but we just have to do it. Luckily, they don't really have much javelin capacity. I just can't find them. They're dead ahead, but I can't see them for the life of me. Here they are. Need to get to here. I think everyone should run there. Fuck's sake. Patience, I think, is what we need here. The problem is, I get very frustrated when I see this, this kind of shit situation. I need to be able to see what I'm doing, and this, this is just complete obstruction. If we can push them out of the trees, that'd be good. Can you get over here? Don't fire at will. I mean, it would be good if we could shoot them before we go into melee. Okay, if we can get a little bit closer, that would be great. Yeah, that's alright. I really want to push them out to, say, here. This is, this would be way more ideal. I prefer hills over trees, because look at this. How are you supposed to fucking see what's down there? This is not an accurate description of, of what's going on. I 
could easily just go and steamroll them, but that's not what I would want to do. I like to skirmish a bit first. Especially against someone that has no skirmish ability. Now, we could probably start shooting them, but I think it would be best if we shoot from behind these guys. Just because... If we put it out in front, it's gonna, I'm not going to be able to see what's going on. They're, they're safe there. We might shoot some of our guys in the back, but for the most part, they'll be safe. Okay, it's good we haven't shot any of our guys. Stuck trees or something. So, so far, they've killed... What percentage? 6%. We are starting to shoot some of our units. And where are you getting shot by? It's over here in the back. Okay, you know what? It might just be best if we just move forward. Move in. I mean, I, I really just I can't see how best to go about this from a grand scale thing. Like I look up here and think, where, how the fuck am I supposed to flank them? So we just got to move forward and hopefully push them out of the woods. Pikes do not work well at all in this situation. It's not many situations where they do work well, except for like. Perfectly flat land or high ground. Okay, what's going on here? Hopefully they break. If I can bring the pikes, uh, not the pikes, the, the side of the chariots close, maybe they'll cause enough fear for them to run. You guys get over here as well, because when they break, I certainly want to catch them. They're almost ready to break as it is. What are you guys doing, you morons? fighting in these forests. It's just, it's not easy to handle at all. You think you're safe and they, they're right in front of you. Okay, where the hell is this guy? He's on his way. But all these guys, they fight like shit in the forest. I don't, I've lost my bearings. Fuck, I hate fighting in the forest. What's this? Someone go and run that guy down. I'm not coming here just to beat them, I'm coming here to kill them. Fucking. What the hell are we fighting here? Okay, good, they're running away. They came back, so just continue running them down. Of course, I want to try and keep casualties to a minimum. See at all what's going on in there. It's 
suppose that's going to make Germania very hard to conquer. I mean, it was one thing when we were finding the desert. No trees out there. Shit. No. Didn't want to be taking these casualties. Get them out of there. them down. Here we go. Lost 1%, killed 59%. Overall, pretty well considering, you know, forest, and I despise fighting in, you know, areas where I can't see. It just makes me so frustrated. Because, like, nothing's under my control. It's sort of like, it's gotta, it's gotta let it rip. And the thing is, the AI, they have perfect control inside of a for um, forest, because they don't see in the same way we do. That's why I don't like fighting in them. Why would I give them an, an advantage? It's stupid. Are we at 85% yet? Yep, let's get, just get a bit more. Fifty-two men. If we were out on an open playing field, we wouldn't have lost half that amount. But then again, terrain is part of the challenge. Just, just gotta put up with it. Sometimes it's not ideal. Just gotta plow through it. The thickest forests are up in Germania. Oh shit. I want to send these guys ahead to like just, just to keep thinning them out if possible. They've had some time to rest. Whatever. I don't even care about these guys. Making them rest right now is just—it's counterproductive. Let's just get over there and kill them. Let's gotta get moving. All right then, let's build. We've got a lot of money in the bank. Let me see. How much money are we making per turn at the moment? Profit of 70,000. That's pretty damn good, I think. Okay, tiny little bit of corruption here. If we build that, how much does it reduce it by? By about a quarter. Yeah, okay. Order here is okay. Growth is going down, but that's okay because it's reached huge city. Oh, well, look at that! Because we moved the the capital over, it got a little bit corrupt, but we can easily get rid of it. Palmyra is no longer the capital. money could we make out of this from mining? There's still too much corruption for me to justify it. to be destroyed at some point. Okay, what can I do here to improve public order? Probably just build that. Alright, get on with it. 
Actually, no, no, I'll build this. No, that doesn't actually provide public order. Fucking, I, I certainly don't need the stone walls. Um, there's not much here that can provide. I really need to destroy that. All right, coming over here. Let's see what we can do. So if we build, a, I just finished bloody uh, disbanding some of these units. Now we've got to make some changes. But it, it's got to go. I suppose we could always disband stuff up and fix it up. Expand it again, that is. And get the population growth going in Pura, because it's currently not really making me much money. Let me have a look here. It's probably not really making any profit at all, just because there's so much corruption. What if I build that? That might help a little bit with trade. Make a bit more cash. Because it's nearly, nearly ready to grow. I don't want it to grow too fast. Or else things might get out of control. There's plenty of things still to build. Alright, Aretium. What are we doing here? We need more public order. Marduk needs to be destroyed. Alright, build that so we can get the annual competitions and festivals. And we can destroy the temple of whatever they built. And then replace it with Artagardus. Okay, hopefully we can destroy that temple. 15%. Yep, that'll be fine. So get rid of that. Go Artagardus. Jester, got to get rid of its temple. Even though Jupiter's a better chain, we can't upgrade Jupiter properly. Okay, public order here is looking good. What are we going to do? Yeah, more public order should do it. Now what? There's guys out here that need to be dealt with still. Okay, you get to Trapezus. Um, guy standing on the road there. Tell so what you do. I want to get rid of them, but at the same time, it's like I can't be bothered. How did that lower our income? Because it's it's standing on a different trade route. Well, we're going to have to get rid of them then. So these guys will come in and help. Alright, if possible, try not to get any of these guys killed. Yeah, we've got to clear off these rebels. If they're, if they're costing me money, let's get rid of them. That's probably, that's probably what's costing me quite a bit. If we can get rid of all the rebels on all of our roads, um, we might end up making quite a few more coin. Now trouble begins. We did not see... Alright, well this map here has the potential to suck balls, but let's see. Oh, shit, they're AI reinforcements. Whoops. Alright, then they're coming towards us. From a bad angle, so let's get over here. <laughs> I'm potentially going to get that guy killed. Because I put him on AI reinforcements. I didn't, I didn't mean to put them on AI reinforcements, they devolted to that. Shit. Let's um, quickly get over here. Need to get up on this hill. Why do they get to start with the fucking high ground? I know we're attacking, but it's bullshit. Fucking hell, I should default not to do this. Every so often I get caught with this. Cause fucking, I, I'm pretty sure I unchecked it. And then because I checked what the enemy army was, it forgot that I had unchecked it. It's irritating when it does that. Yeah, see, they're coming in as AI reinforcements. But we've got a bit of time before they get here. I need you to get over here and start thinning them out. What have they got here? Armenian spearmen. Get back. Oh, 
motherfucker. If you can come over here, we might be able to get this guy to break. Keep skirmishing, get back. Come on, get back. These guys are being such a nuisance. How the fuck can they split their battalion off like that? That's retarded. One battalion down. A few cash, but that's okay. I mean, if this if this is gonna make us some money, then it's worth it. Problem is though, you get rid of one band of rebels, and another one shows up somewhere else. You can never get rid of them all. That guy's not coming back, don't worry about him. They've still got the high ground, but obviously not as bad as what they did before. What are these? These are skirmishes. Get up here and just, just use up the last of your ammo. Yeah, on these Armenian spearmen if we can. Okay, run back behind the line. If they keep charging, they're gonna get smashed. Ah, oh, damn. Can't shoot at them like this, gotta move here. I'd love to shoot into their back, but I end up shooting into their back if I shoot them. From there. Yeah, we still got a shot into their back. Didn't do very much damage because of the high ground, but whatever. Careful, they're almost in position. I don't care about the Peltus, but I do care about their general. I don't want him to die. Also, this is good. It's making him tired. The more we can make him tired, the easier it will be to break him. goes to charge into their rear. Like I said, I don't care about them, they can be retrained. I'm just there to protect this guy here. Because if we charge into the back of them, that's gonna it's gonna really smash them. They want to skirmish with us as well. Wants to be suicidal by the looks of it. Yeah, he wants to fucking die. What are they doing? These are skirmishes. God, AI reinforcements. Stupid shits. Okay, stop that. Alright, you're gonna need to get in there quickly before he dies. He'll take damage quite quickly, I think. You two. Smash into him. At least they're, they're very tired. Good. Didn't lose any men. Oh, I mean, apart from those pikemen. There's no need to run them down because 
They're rebels. They, if they lose the battle, they die. So the original income of that settlement was 800. Let's see if it goes up. We scored an extra 98, which, you know, grand scheme of things is not a lot, but you know, over 10 turns, that's 9,800. No, that's 980. So, okay, it's not as much as I thought. Well, whatever. It's more money. More money in my pocket rather than the AI. I you think I should maybe clear off more of these rebels every now and again. We're not going to win this. Yeah, I thought so. It doesn't do anything. It's always goddamn crushing defeats whenever you send in generals to do anything. There's too many rebels everywhere. Oh, just yeah, fuck off and die, loser. Right, do I have any more money to do anything with? Nope. What else should I do this turn? I don't think there is anything I can do. Ah, wasn't I supposed to fought you up? Guess I forgot. Onward. No more Bloody winter. Ready to sail. Set sail. Should be safe Out there. Move, okay, what might be a good idea is getting rid of ships that we no longer need. Because they're costing us money. So for example, this ship. Because that's costing me 500 a turn. Ready. It's in port, get rid of it. Where else do we have ships that we might not need? Oh no, we kind of do need a lot of ships. A lot of transporting needs to go around. If you have a look at our finances, we're making quite a bit. 70,000, that should do us. I mean, we've still got a bit of money left over. Ready. Okay, now what about all the, those other movements? So you guys, yeah, we haven't done this yet. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Hang on, I haven't recruited another one of those generals. That might be the last one. How many, that's... Yeah, it'll be the last one. And then it'll be a full stack, and they'll probably lose 90% of their battles, but they'll still do heaps of damage, and that's all. It's all what it's all about. Moving on. Kind of surprised they haven't asked for a peace treaty yet. I mean, they've lost pretty much every single major battle so far. Here's a chance for them to gain some experience. Like, you've got to be shitting me. At least they're not going to be moving anywhere anytime soon. They'll lose against them, but I could probably thin the map quite a bit. Okay, we lost a family member at... Uh-oh. That's bad news. The guy died of old age. Okay, can we fix Mariab by any chance? It'll be okay if we keep switching between the two settlements. Okay, do you need to stay here? Yeah, the public order is it's getting better, but... Right. Because I want to get this army up, up north. Maybe go fight the Dacians now. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Did I purchase a navy here? Yeah, I did. That'll help get them around. Maybe I'll send them over to um, Crimea. And again, it's not a full stack yet, but I don't think I really need it to be. 
Need to wait for that to finish first. Okay, so there's going to be rioting here. I don't want these guys taking damage. So just stay out of the city. How bad? It's not too bad. Let's see if I can... Get it under control. I mean, I really don't want to recruit that many units, but... I don't know. It is helping the public order. That'll get it to 70%. It might not riot now. Okay, more stuff needs to be built here. Now remember, we should probably get rid of these rebels. I think there's still one standing there. Let me see. No, they must have merged with that. Oh no, maybe I should just leave them there. I mean, this is crap territory. The rebels are going to show up somewhere. But I found that the rebels will only show up to, like... There'll only be ever so many rebels. And after they've all shown up, they won't show up anymore. Sort of, if that makes sense. Like, let's just say there's 50 rebel bands in the game. You get rid of two of them. Two of them, will sh two more will show up somewhere else until there's 50. If that makes sense. So the public order here is almost under control. What do we need to do? You know what I should, probably should do? Is send this army back home. Um, even, yeah, just send it back home. If, if I was to take them out. So send them back home without the, one of the generals. Okay, that's under control. Alright, um, how are we going to do go this? Because we actually have a bigger army now than when we started. Because we've got too many slingers. The thing is, the Arabian slingers, right? Um, we can't train them anywhere but here. So what we do is, that's the lowest experience unit. Get rid of this one. We can retrain them when they get home. one of these cav. I mean they were useful while they were here, but I want to make this a full stack and send them home. My lord. And yeah, whatever. Um, like I said, get, get rid of one of them. Okay, then they're a full stack. With, you know, without the need for a general, but it's chances are these guys are going to be here for the rest of their life. Let's just go. Move out! Because I want to get them to the front lines instead of just sitting here. That, hang on, what did I do? Oh, right, I increased the population growth here. Duh. Alright, we need more. My lord. And what about this guy over here? He's still alive, right? Oh, he died. And the public order's gone to shit. And it is just under control. God damn it. I was like, what the fuck happened there? Right, okay, um... At least the population growth is going down. So if it riots once, it'll probably get the population down enough to be under control. My lord. That's sort of annoying what it's doing there. But it's still, still technically under my control. Leaving these guys in or out of the sea is oh, making wow. a difference, just to stay there. What can we build here? I can't believe that guy died. He, he wasn't that old. Like, he was kind of, but whatever. Um, none of that helps. Good thing I built those festivals. What can I do here to fix things up? Um, a lot of unrest. There's nothing here that... Oh, hang on. That we can build in six turns. That'll provide some happiness. It's better than nothing. But yeah, once all that squalor goes down, public order should get a lot better. It's going to go down by a lot. Alright, good. I'm glad that that got under control.
Actually, I don't even know what to build here now. That'll provide some population growth. There's only a little bit of corruption here because it's 60% distance to capital. It's only a minor city. I don't want to build like this stuff. Just yet. Yeah, I'll build that. Whatever, it's fine. What other settlements have bad public order? Okay, this region here. Okay, there, that general died. But we got the region under control with that. This region here has bad public order. Yeah, that's okay. We know about that. Sulek, yeah, we're aware of that. Mero, aware of that. And then, it's under control. Hang on, we haven't built anything at Mero yet. Okay, Edessa, what are we doing here? Um, I guess keep it under control more so we can increase the tax rate. Nisa, more control wouldn't hurt. hurt. But then again, that'll also increase population growth, which isn't a bad thing because we want to get it to huge city, but do want to get it to huge city just now. Let's just go with that. Um, back to up. Public order is under control, but we, of course we want more control. Okay, we just finished the barracks there, so now we can get the armored Indian elephants. But we can't afford them right now. Those things are fucking game destroyers. We can really get at, you know a lot of our best units now. Just not yet. How long does it take to recruit anyway? Two seasons. 23,000 it costs. Okay, if we build the gymnasium, that'll give us an extra 10 public order. So we can increase the taxes further. But then again, what about, what about this? Yeah, that's much better because that gives us more money. We need more cash. Oh, hang on. What about this? The next level building gives more cash as well. Let's go with that. It's quicker. It's kind of an expensive thing to build. That that thing, because it's 5,000 and it only takes one turn to build. So, for example, other things that cost like 10,000, but take 10 turns to build, it's 1,000 per turn. Well, that's 5,000 over one turn, which is probably why I went bankrupt when buying all that all of those all the time. See, I've already gone just about bankrupt. I'd like to build that, but we still need more population growth. cash not gonna have enough for every settlement no, we're out of cash we almost oh not really well whatever anyway with that I think we'll end the video there so situation's looking good you know we're getting there just a lot of consolidating needs to be done it's been a while since we took a settlement but we can't really do anything more about it Gonna send this guy over this way. Forward, and a move, sir. So that he can take Masalia. He should be able to take on any Roman army that we come against against. But he's just gonna be there to help thin them out and get rid of their smaller armies. Like I wouldn't necessarily send it up against that. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 104 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.